Storm Chasers, we alive. We alive. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna come on in here. It's about what 80, 85 of y'all in here. Y'all, y'all gonna come on in the room. Since they say I'm stealing, y'all come over here and, and, and mess with a thief. Y'all come on over. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Just got back from my damn second. Oh, we got 216 already. Just got back from my damn second workout. And I still got to finish. But I said, no, nah, I'm going to come and address these rumors, these lies. Because they're they're lies. All right? And I'm not going to say the lies came from haters. I'm just going to say they came from people that are definitely hateful. Okay? All right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We just started. We just started. So let's get right on into it. Because I'm going to shoot the link. I'm going to let y'all comment after I get through with my little thing. And then I got to finish working out. All right, cool. So as you guys know, let me put on put on my headphones. As you, as you guys know, as you guys know. Did y'all hear that? Let me know because y'all hear that. Did y'all hear that? I'm, I'm gonna shoot that link in a minute. Did you could y'all hear the audio that I played? Let me know. Let me know. You say no, you couldn't hear it. Okay, hold on. I want y'all to be able to hear it. I I I want you to be able to hear it. Okay. Hold up. We're gonna go here. And then I'm gonna take it back to me. Let's try again. Now, could you hear that? Could y'all hear that? Let me know. I'm going to watch it here in the chat. You can hear that? What did he say? I'm that what? I'm that what? Hold up. I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. It's me. I'm that nigga. Did you hear it? Folks want to go around hating on me for what? Because I got an exclusive? Because Robert Sylvester Kelly called me? You to put that mu you Oh, we passed one minute. You to put that motherfucking interview up if he had called you. You to put that motherfucking interview up had he called you. I ain't did nothing no different than nobody else. Congratulate me. See, here's the problem. For too motherfucking long, I've been walking around here being humble. I've been on these internet streets being humble, being quiet, not really, not really talking my shit. And I really got y'all believing that I'm just some babbling idiot on the internet that don't know what the fuck he doing. No, baby, I know when to turn it on and when to turn it off. I know when to keep my mouth shut and when to speak. And so despite what anybody got to say on their show about R. Kelly coming on my shit, how he get that? Why R. Kelly want to talk to him? How did he get that? I've been working on this shit for years. I've been working on this for years. And I have kept my mouth shut. Why? I damn sure ain't gonna share no good news with, uh, 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 with you motherfucking haters. I didn't do nothing but give you a little teaser for the Corey Hardrick interview. And you see what happened with that. So can somebody tell me why anytime it's some good news for me, it's a problem. <laughs> And let me address this too. It don't matter what the first interview did or the second, because he called me twice. He called me twice from the penitentiary. Not to mention that every time the call from the prison comes through, it automatically hangs up the first time, which means he has to call right back. So he took the time to not just call me twice in the two days, uh, uh twice in the two days, but technically four times in the two days.
If you really believe that I will go and steal somebody's audio and try to put it off as my own, you're crazy as hell. You don't even believe that shit. You don't even believe that. Y'all watch everything I do. Y'all watch it like a hawk. I'm not saying you watch every video, but something like R. Kelly, where I'm actually talking to him, you're going to watch it and comb through everything. I can't get nothing past y'all. Black folks do more investigation on the internet than the FBI. So you think that I think I can get something like that past y'all? Number one, number two, I ain't even that kind of dude to do that to nobody. Now, how did I get the interview? I know people in the camp. I know a lot of people that y'all don't know I know. I ain't, I ain't even going to show y'all my DMs. Them DMs be lit. They be lit. And there's a lot of people trying to fuck. Yes, there is. I ain't going to lie about that either. Male and female. A lot of motherfuckers you would have never thought. But that ain't my business to be putting out there. I'm just saying. I know a lot of motherfuckers that y'all don't know I know. Don't hate, just congratulate. I went on Roseanne's show. We still talk to this day. We had Jaguar right. And no matter what y'all want to say, baby, we had the internet on fire. Now, I don't give a damn that I ain't been able to match some numbers since. Bitch, I had it once. Bitch, I had what you trying to motherfucking get right now. And this ain't directed at, at no one particular person. This is just for anybody that got an issue. I'm just talking in general. I promise. I really don't care about the Y'all know I don't care about these folks. Bitch, I got and had what you're trying to get. Bitch, if I never get it again, I had it. Come on now. We didn't have R&B singers. Lou Nell, we have had legit people come on the show. So why would you be that shocked that I couldn't get R. Kelly? Yeah, yeah, Conscious had my back. Really, Conscious broke all this shit down. I, I low-key need to hire a Conscious as my PR. Like, I, in the controversy, I ain't even doing no talking. Talk to my PR, because the way he break it down, thank you, real deal. The way he break it down, you cannot, you... You not first of all, conscious is too intelligent. You're not even finna put getting nothing over his head anyway. He broke it straight down. Them motherfuckers couldn't wait to run they dick suckers on the internet to try and say I stole this girl's shit. Potentially trying to then cause a beef between me and that girl. Now let me let me back up. Like I said, I know some people in this camp. Okay. I've been working on this for a while. That interview wasn't like that wasn't the way I expected it to go down. But at the end of the day, I'm going to take it how I can get it. And what I was told was, OK, look, be expecting his call. This is what it's going to say when, when he calls. Just be on the lookout. I said, damn, OK, I'm going to be in California. This was last week. R. Kelly was supposed to call me around New Year's. Y'all know I just got back from L.A. So I was anxious, waiting on this. He finally called me the other day, and the rest is history. So it's not going to sound like Natasha's interview where they planned it in advance. They hooked in the phone to the, um, I have a roadcaster, a podcasting machine, but they have actual radio equipment because Natasha and her producer, they're actual radio people. R. Kelly already knew them. Which is why he sounds comfortable, which is why he's really open, and which is why he just went and talked to them because he wanted to talk to somebody. Now, I didn't even want to put this out there, but I'm going to put it out there since y'all want to know. He was not even supposed to do that interview with them. That was not what his team wanted him to do. He did that on his own because he knows them and he's comfortable with them. He was supposed to come over here first. This is not me hating that he went over there first. This is me just telling you what it is. And he got fussed at a little bit because of that. 
Why? Because Natasha does not have the reach on YouTube to really take the interview potentially really where it could go. And I'm going to keep it real even further and say a lot more y'all really do want to click on the video, but because you don't fuck with me for whatever reason, you're not going to click on the video. And that's just what it is. And that's really the type of audience I got. And I, and I, and I accept that it is what it is. Cause that shit went through a lot of y'all algorithms and you, mm, I don't fuck with him. I, I, I'll watch somebody talk about it. Okay, cool. That's cool too. But whether you click it or not, bitch, I got it. It's on my resume. Now, he did the interview with Natasha. It was featured on Shade Room and the Neighborhood Talk, I believe. Other than that, it did not do much traction on the internet. I'm talking about on YouTube. And his team really wanted this information out on YouTube because. A lot of the receipts came out on YouTube three, four years ago about him. On another person's YouTube channel. We already know who that is. We don't need to go there. So just like the it, it, from his perspective, the disrespect was on YouTube. I need I need to speak out on that same platform. But keep in mind, R. Kelly old school, he don't know nothing about this shit. He old school. So he was raised up on, you called a radio station to talk your ish. We passed those days. Radio stations are dying. We know that. Please stop the cap. And low key, YouTube is already dying. And the new thing is TikTok. We just keeping it a stack. Everything got like a 10 to 15 year cycle and that's it. So that's why he felt comfortable. That's why. It say it do sound more professional over there, but y'all know we we clatch it over here. We classy ratchet, and my people like this shit a little ratchet. They don't like all that super polished. My people don't like that, and that's cool. So I'm gonna give the people what they want. So when you come over here, you you ain't coming in the hood, but you on that borderline of the hood. You know when like the nice neighborhood here, the hood is here, and you on that borderline. We on that borderline of the hood. You see it over the fence. That's what's come. That you come to my show. That's what it's like. Bitch, I may be on my phone hole. I may be in a do-rag one day. I may be in the suit the next day. Y'all know how I get down. You should know it by now. So anyway, with that being said, he came, he did the interview, then he did the interview again. A lot of y'all saying, you edited, you redacted the interview. Yes, I cut a lot of my responses out because it was not about me. It was about him. But we will be putting the full raw audio on Patreon and available for channel members tonight. So you can watch it in its entirety. Listen to it, rather, in its entirety. From start to finish. On what I said and what he said. I don't know what else to say. It's been proven. I didn't take that girl's audio. That shit is ridiculous. That shit's ridiculous. First off, how I'm going to take the audio of somebody I don't even know. I don't know her. And it's no shade towards her at all. I don't know her. I remember seeing the uh, the interview featured on the shade room. And at that time, she had like 800 subscribers. I, I According to conscience, she's between two to three thousand now. OK, cool. She did an interview with old girl. I know that. I know that probably helped. OK, cool. If you want to listen to his interview with her, go over there and listen to it. I'm not hating. I'm not going to share the link, but I'm not hating. She's been on a way bigger platform than mine. Whatever that platform couldn't do for it ain't none of my concern. Ain't nobody uh, rushing to share shit for me. Yeah, that nice guy shit, that shit gone. Fuck that shit. You do for me, I do for you. You don't do them for me, I ain't going out my motherfucking way. I low-key feel like this was a plot just to get her more views on that video anyway. Not even necessarily saying Natasha had anything to do with that, but just other people like, well, she deserves some views too. Let's let's drum this scheme up so everybody can respond and talk about it, then y'all can go over there. And if it is, that's cool too. I ain't mad. But baby, it's been proven. I ain't steal shit. We got so much shit to talk about. What what I need to go steal something for? 
Y'all should know me better than that by now. Y'all really should. Yes. Then you hear R. Kelly say my name a couple of times. In the raw audio, you're going to hear him say it a few more times. When he first called me, he says, Storm? I'm I'm calling you Storm. I said, yeah, this is Storm. I said, just like the weather, like X-Men. He said, okay. I said, this is Robert. How you doing? I said, I'm doing fine. I, I should I should act, I started to call him Mr. Kelly before I knew it. I started calling him Rob. I'm acting like I've really been knowing him for a long time. As long as I don't call that nigga daddy, I'm good. So I'm calling him daddy. I didn't got brainwashed. <laughs> he called him phone. I, what's going on, Rob? I'm just, listen, whatever. It, it is what it is. He he don't trip. So his team wanted him to come over here because I'm unbiased, non-biased, whatever. And I'm just going to let him get his point across. You don't have to like him. You don't have to be a fan of his, nothing like that. But I want to hear what he say, too, because just because he may have done X, Y, Z, allegedly, which I have to say allegedly, don't mean that some other shit ain't been done either. So we don't need to hide none. Put it all out there. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think it's nothing else I really need to address. Because really, Conscious did a good job of breaking it all down. But that's that's it. Let me go ahead and put the link in. I don't, I don't think it's nothing else. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. But I hold on one sec. I mean, I mean, you know, I because who who you know where, where would I be without? Let me stop the cam for a minute. Oh, I'm gonna stop this cam for a minute. Where would I be without really letting y'all know how? A brother feel. Our good New York going gonna take us out here. Let's 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 let her let's let her talk for it. Do I look like I got a as a joke? Do I look like I got a as a joke? Do I look like I got a as a joke? Do I look like I got a as a joke? As a joke? Look like I got it's a storm show. It's a storm show.